Hi there, welcome back to the Dutch Sea Channel. And I've got my Sonic Speed Quad out again. Um, I've made a few changes in the radio and in the flight controller. Um, I've changed the midpoint of the throttle from 50 to 60, I think. And I have uh, increased the yaw rate. Or at least I think I've increased the yaw rate. We'll find out. And let's see. Yeah, it now has an FPV camera, a quantum FPV camera, and also a quantum elite FPV transmitter. Now, I'm not going to be testing the FPV equipment today. I just want to see if it uh, flies better than the last time. And if it does, I'll also try the tilting. So. Yeah, let's let's see how that all works out. Here we go. Ah, yes. Uh, oh, it is uh, quite windy, by the way. Uh, but uh, my change uh, to the throttle stick settings, so the midpoint, definitely has helped. I can now gently bring it down and the yaw rate hmm, hard to say okay so it flies well now let's engage engage the the tilting So that was acceleration with the motors tilting forward. And I'm at about 40% throttle. Okay, it looks like I could do with a little more pitch forward, but the acceleration is admirable. Now, if you haven't seen my previous videos in this series, um, if I now apply forward pitch to make the quadcopter fly forward, uh, the, the flight controller is getting only 10% of that input. So the forward movement is 90% pitch. Or, in other words, caused 90% by the, the forward pitch of the motors. Now I have another flight mode in which... Um, sorry, uh, I have to be a little cautious with the people on the field here, of course. Um, I have another flight mode in which uh, the flight controller also gets 100% of the input. Now what I'm testing at this moment mainly is how the yaw, uh, what, the, what the yaw is like and if the altitude hold still works well. And I think you can tell that it does. It's very stable in, uh, in altitude. I'm flying with the barometer assisted altitude hold. And that works very, very well. And I'm happy to say that the yaw is still functional. Uh, might be a strange thing to have to test, but with the motors being at an angle, I, uh, there was a chance that the yaw would react completely different. But it doesn't, it, uh, it flies more or less the same really. Um, the forward acceleration isn't as aggressive as I had thought. Um, again, I'm not having the quadcopter itself pitch forward. So uh, I can make it quite a bit faster still, but... Well, at least it flies well. That's not unimportant, I'd say. 
it's not a scary quadcopter at all. It's it's nice and nimble, controllable. Yeah, the, I'm happy with the yaw, by the way. This this yaw rate works well for me. Um, it's not hard to keep track of what's front and back. By the way, that's that's nice. Okay, cool, successful test, man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the next video in this series, I'll put an action camera on the quadcopter, and uh, then we'll test this quantum FPV system as well, so I can show you the action cam footage side by side with the FPV footage. For now, I'm very happy with how it flies. And um, yeah, if you have suggestions or questions, hit me up uh, a comment down below. And uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, please do, of course. Thank you very much. And hope to see you back in another video. Bye-bye.